Okay, this is Jake with um, Be Golden Live. Basically, now, right now, I'm going to be showing you how to do properly do a strike fire mod. This is the strike fire right here. Um, this is it. Not even open yet. And this is it open. Um, actually, this isn't exactly how it will look. It will have this black piece along with this. This will not be white, this will be orange, but that doesn't matter much. Basically, you'll take the inside of the orange piece, and you will take a uh, power drill and drill all the little pieces out. You'll drill the little piece that holds the bullet in straight out, and if you don't, that sucks for you because you'll have to be taking a flathead screwdriver, stick it in, uh, you'll see the little prongs on it, and the prongs holding up the, um, the thing, and then you'll just be hammering that out. Okay, so once you're done hammering it out, the little piece will fall out, you kind of make it all hollow on the inside, you try and hollow it out as much as you can, uh, but make sure the bullet won't fall through. Also, after that, you will take a piece of CPVC, which is this white stuff right here, and cut it just a little bit. Cut off this until it gets to this part right here, if you can see that. Cut it till you get to that indent, like, then just cut it right there, and then you would put this piece of CPVC on right here this piece of CPVC that I'm holding right now, this, right here right here, okay so you take that, you would stick it on use a hot glue gun, hot glue it on and if it does not hot glue on I mean, if once it's hot, done hot gluing on uh, if it does not go back inside this little black piece where this should go back in If it doesn't, then you've got to take it, take all of the hot glue, and try and get it off the orange piece. If there's hot glue on the orange piece, you get it off the orange piece, all of it, as much as you can. As much as of the hot glue you can get off the orange piece, the better. You just take a little knife, and you just cut it off the orange piece. As you can see, there's still hot glue all over mine. Try and do it as much as you can, and just get as much of that hot glue off as you can. And basically, okay. And basically, once you're done getting that hot glue off, it should just slide right in here. You should hear uh, here hit the back. As long as it hits the back, you're pretty much fine. And you shouldn't have to shove it in. It should just be able to pretty easily go in. The air seal is not horrendous. It's not that bad there, too. Okay. So basically, once you're done with that, let's go back down to the gun. You will take pennies and three dimes and basically make a dime sandwich. What that means is you'll take the three dimes and put them between the two pennies, put the two pennies at the back right here. And then once the spring and then put the spring right against them. And then from there you'll put this back in here in the black piece, you will put that like that and put it back how it was before. That's pretty much a very simple mod, a very simple strike fire mod. A lot of people don't like this piece and I don't know why, they just don't. So uh, there's a different screw in the back, you just unscrew that, you just throw this little piece out and then I'm just going to throw that out. 
Um, so basically, that is pretty much how you um, do that. Yeah. So then after that, what you do is you put this back on, and once you put when you put this piece right here back on, this piece back on, you take the little uh, the little metal bar. If you can see that. Congratulations, you're not blind. And put it put that side on first, as long as that side's the side that is not already okay. Whatever. Um, so, and then, there's a, will be a little, like, I think, invert spring right here in my fingers that stretches out. And then you put the little top ring around that. So then, so then, that's what you do, pretty much. And then after you're done with that, you put this piece back on. All evened up. So it's actually pretty easy, this modification. It's not a difficult mod at all. Uh, most mods aren't that difficult. I mean, making an angel breach that may be a little harder than some of you are looking for. Um, but still not that extremely difficult of a mod. Now what is hard is making your own gun. That's hard. Making like a CPVC gun. If you look at like U13, he he makes those. Coop 772 can make some of those. Okay, you just put this back on. I'll show you the shooting test in a second. I will do a shooting test in this video for you if I have time. Um. I'm just going to screw everything back on. I mean, I don't think I really need to show you that that much. It's not hard or anything. It's screwing something on. I mean, seriously. It's pretty obvious what to do. It's really I'm just screwing it back on right now. I'm a I actually need to show you one major thing, so really don't go yet. Even though I'm just screwing this back on, really don't go because I need to show you some important things about this. One of the most important things, actually, because you'll get all pissed off if you don't know how to do this. Um, make sure everything's in the right place. I mean, if it doesn't seem like it goes there, then it most likely doesn't go there. Okay, um, I'm not scraping, I'm making a YouTube video. Can you please leave? Just for a second. Thanks. Um, so basically, sorry, that was my sister. 
basically the most important thing, one of the most important things you need to know, I'll show you right now, is that right here. This is it put back together, and you're cocking it back. As you can see, the white piece goes back, which is not a good thing. Really not a good thing. You really do not want that to happen, because if it goes back all the way into your gun, then you will be screwed. <laughs> um, so, what you will do is you will take... You'll take hot glue and put it, if you can see, there will be little prongs, well, I don't know what to call them, but little, little, uh, holes where you can actually put the hot glue, hot glue in. And it will keep it from actually going anywhere. Also, this right here, it moves. If it's like that, or like that, pushing away, it will not be an accurate shot, where that's what the CPVC does. It gives you a very accurate shot if you do it right. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill that with hot glue. Um, okay, so that's mainly what you need to, need to know. Uh, I'll be right there in a second. I'm just going to fill this with hot glue now. Okay, so I'm still here, I'm just filling my gun up with the uh, thing with hot glue, so it's all... So this is what it's going to look like. I mean, you might not do as sloppy of a job, but... That's what I did, and it's not like it will work any differently than mine if you don't do it that exact way, but it's just, um, you can even use duct tape or something to do it differently, but that's the way I do it. Um, and it works that way for me. I make these things called Stefan's. It's just a foam dart. A uh, foam backing rod dart with um, a hot glue tip. Basically, I'm just gonna put this in here. It's a little bit of a t tight squeeze, a little bit of a tight squeeze, and then I'm just gonna shove it right down. Don't try and force it all the way because it it's most likely all the way. Um, Okay, this is my gun, down there, down that hallway, at the very end, that is almost, um, that's almost 70 feet, right there, so, let me show you, set up my, I'll be shooting from up here. You don't want to believe that it's 70 feet, you don't need to, but that was not a very accurate shot, but, um, I'm going to show you with a couple different bu bullets. First, I'm going to shoot, um, this sticky, sticky top dart. 